I'm literally still living like a lazy pig. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to try to turn my life around. My skin is literally covered in acne as you can see. Let's not talk about the weight gain. I only started to indulge in cheesy like junk food. Before I continue yapping, let's clean my room because I feel disgusting. A very wise person once said a clean space equals a clean mind. I always believe that the first step of taking care of your mental health is making sure that you're in a good environment. And when I look at my own room the past few months, I haven't really been following that advice. I don't know what got into me, but today I got up and I cleaned my room because I deserve it. I feel like social media has been really making me resent my own life somehow. Somehow my entire For You page has turned into the Lululemon girlies who go to Pilates and gym at 6 in the morning. While this content can be so motivating for others and you should never compare yourself to people online, I really needed the reality check this week that not everybody shares their bad moments online and it's not fair to compare ourselves. Okay, by the way, today I did some grocery shopping because I realized if I want to make a change, I actually need healthy food at home. I got these oats with extra protein. I also got some spinach and mushrooms. I was low-key thinking I could make like a budget version of bibimbap with this. You know, the last few months I've been trying to eat balanced, but somehow it's just not working out for me. I feel like I constantly end up spiraling back into my old habits and bad diet. But tomorrow is a new day, guys. I woke up only 45 minutes earlier than I normally would and it absolutely wrecked me guys. I once read somewhere that good habits have the snowball effect. This morning I got up 45 minutes earlier than normal. I got to eat breakfast, pack some lunch, make my favorite drink. Usually I would lay in bed and watch TikToks until I have to leave in 5 minutes. But it honestly felt good to live my own life instead of watching someone else's. I'm heading over to my internship and it's really cold guys, it's really cold. I had breakfast, I packed lunch, I feel like a different person. I don't know if I'm the only one but I really struggle with the idea of working a 9 to 5 the rest of my life. I'm so tired. When I'm home from work or school at 5 p.m., all I want to do is lay in bed and not move. But instead of accepting the 9 to 5 zombie lifestyle, I'm gonna try to make the most of it even if I'm tired. Uh, how am I gonna do my workouts? How am I gonna study? I know it costs energy, but do small things that will make your day more meaningful and make your body feel better. One way to actually stick to your new year's resolutions or goals is to divide them by three sections. I write down my long term goals and then I divide them into weekly and daily goals. This way I'm making sure to work on them every single day. I also did my first workout today and it was actually so tough you guys. I'm gonna talk to you guys from the mirror. Working out was definitely a challenge after not moving for so long. I was supposed to work out for an hour and it became 10 minutes but I'm still proud of myself because 10 minutes is better than not doing anything. I guess I want to end this first episode like this. Take care of yourself, celebrate your small victories, cut off your fake friends.